Hey guys, and welcome back to Mindy's Colory. I'm Mindy, and today I want to talk to you about Ecotex MP40 Quiet Drives. So, I decided that it was time for an upgrade with my power heads in my aquariums, and I decided to go with Ecotex MP40s. Right here. So I'm going to do a complete review over the MP40s and I'm going to install them in my 90 gallon and also my 125 right behind me. So let's get on to it. Flow is one of the most often overlooked parts of a reef tank, but it's actually one of the most important. Your fish require an oxygen-rich environment to thrive. Most corals are stationary, which means the correct flow is required to not only provide the corals with the essential foods and the elements they need to grow, but also to remove any waste products that they produce. And for this reason, you want to get the best power heads that you can. Ecotac is known for being the premium end of the market with regards to their lighting, their pumps, and also their power heads. And you can tell this just by looking at the design of the packaging. Upon opening it, you can instantly see why they've developed this reputation for their quality, as everything appears to have been manufactured to a very high standard. Inside the box, you get the easy to follow user guide, the power head, complete with a sponge guard, the external motor, which works by utilizing magnets, the quiet drive controller, the glass spacers, power cables, and they've even gone the extra mile and provided cable ties to keep everything neat and tidy. Although I know many people don't use their sponge guards, to me this is absolutely essential, as my seahorses aren't strong swimmers and they easily get stuck to the conventional power heads. The reason it stands out from all the competition is because rather than being an all-in-one power head, you have two individual components, a wet side and also a dry side. This design is unique and comes with several benefits to the hobbyist. Firstly, and most importantly for me, it's easy to remove for maintenance. With previous power heads, I found them always to be a chore to clean. And as we all know, that the jobs which are the most difficult, we also ignore the longest. Secondly, it keeps all the power cables out of the tank. Our tank should be a thing of beauty and power cables are definitely not beautiful. Thirdly, as the motor is not in the water, it reduces the amount of heat in the tank. And finally, they're also a safer option as it's impossible for them to produce stray voltage. Installation is very easy. You literally just attach the correct spacer for your tank. Always be sure to check the width of the glass first though, as often not all sides are of equal thickness. Place the motor on the outside of the tank first, and then the power head directly in front of it on the inside. You'll feel the magnets stick to each other, and then you're good to go. This is another thing that I'd like to highlight. As they're using magnets, it's very unusual that you'll have one of these fall off like the, my current ones do all the time. I've been using MP10s on my smaller tanks for years now. And if ever the wet side doesn't feel like it's aligned properly, I just rotate it slightly until it's in sync again. These pumps are able to produce a wide varied flow pattern, which is a huge benefit to a reef tank. In the ocean, reefs are constantly flush with turbulent water. Therefore, the single stream direct flow of traditional powerheads is very unnatural for them. The MP40 Quiet Drive comes pre-programmed with six different flow options, which are Reef Crest, Lagoon, Gyre, Short Pulse, Tidal Swell, and Nutrient Transport. Each of these create a different flow pattern, which you can decide depending on how you want your tank to look, but also what type of coral you'd like to keep. You can cycle through these modes just with a click of the button and then turn the dial to decide how powerful you want the flow to be. An additional mode is feed mode, where it temporarily reduces the speed to almost zero, which will allow slow feeders like my seahorses to eat in peace. 
The one last feature I'd like to mention is the ability to connect them to a battery backup. More often than not, when there is a power failure, it's the lack of oxygen which becomes lethal long before water becomes too cold or beneficial bacteria dies. In a heavily stocked tank, oxygen depletion can ha happen very quickly and if the power fails when you're at work or you're asleep, a battery backup can literally be a lifesaver. As I've been using a different variation of this pump for years, it's easy for me to give an honest opinion and say they really do make a very big difference. All right guys, so that's a wrap. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate all the positive feedback. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And I will see you again on my next video. Thanks again.